Hello, and welcome to the Discover Activities lesson of the Getting Started with KitCori Guide. In this video, I'll show you a few different ways to browse for activities, get into the instructions of those activities, and use our search and filter tool. When you first log in, you'll be in the Discover Activities screen. At the top, we've highlighted some activities for today. These come from our monthly calendars for morning meetings and advisory sessions. Below are more carousels or sliders, which are another way to find the activities from the calendars. In a separate video, I'll show you how to add these groups of activities to your own calendar. If we keep scrolling down, you'll see this section where you can browse by category. And at the very bottom, you can browse by contributors or creators of the activities. Coming back up to the categories, let's take a look, especially at the first four categories, which are intentionally laid out in the order of group development. First, we have ice melters that welcome students with low risk ways to get to know each other. Then energizers provide a fun brain break, awaken senses and drive up engagement. Team builders focus on trust and working together so that students can move on to problem solvers that challenge them with puzzles and group goal activities. Beyond that, we also have creative projects, reflections, which include a lot of check-ins and ways to debrief an activity, some community service activities, tips and tricks, which will help you find more information about how to facilitate activities, and mindfulness activities, which include calmers to bring the class back into focus. Let's go back up and take a closer look at ice melters. In this results list, you'll see on each tile a short description of the activity, the typical amount of time that it takes, and the energy level. Look for this icon to quickly find activities that do not require any props or materials. Here you can see how many people have favorited an activity, and if the heart is red, that means that you've favorited the activity. Across the top, you'll see the age groups. Purple means that you have that age group selected. Let's say, for example, that we want to find an activity for middle school. We can uncheck the other values. And now we have a list of middle school activities. I'm going to scroll down and choose one that looks interesting so that we can take a closer look at the structure of an activity. Here again, you'll see the energy, time, and favorites for an activity. Scroll down a little bit to see the materials section. This activity has a unique prop, and in this case, it's this printable. Click on that thumbnail, and depending on your browser settings, it'll either open or download directly. In the instructions section, you'll find everything you need to run the activity. Prep provides the information that you'll want to know before you're with your students. Sometimes this can include details about setting up your space, or in this case, a little more background information about facilitating the activity and using the attached printable. Play will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions for doing the activity. And in the learn section, you'll find the debriefing questions. We've broken them into three main categories, reflect, connect, and grow. Reflect questions focus on observations of what happened while playing the activity. Connect questions ask, so what? How does this activity relate to our other experiences? And grow addresses the general question, now what? What will we do with what we've learned from this activity in our class and life? Some activities also provide variations these might be ways to play the activity in a different environment or adapt for different academic goals. Below the instructions, you'll also see additional characteristics of the activity, including the group structure. And below that are the social emotional learning standards, 21st century skills and sustainable development goals that are supported by this activity. Now, since your main focus may be to address a specific learning objective, let's take a look at how to find those activities in a more intentional way than browsing. I'll use the back arrow to return to the Discover Activities screen. 
As you become more familiar with activities, you can search for them by title, but right now let's take a look at how to filter for a specific activity. There are many different ways to filter for activities, but I'll focus on just a few. For example, I can set the amount of time that I have available for the activity and the desired energy level. The age filter will be preset with the values you have in your profile, but you can always come in and make adjustments. You can also choose based on subject matter, group structure. Under materials is a really great feature to let you choose no props and quickly find activities that don't require any materials. Categories we've looked at before, so let's dive right in to the social emotional learning standards. These are based on the Kessel framework. Let's get specific and say that we are looking to work on impulse control. Up at the top, we had already said that we are working with upper elementary and we're looking for a high energy activity. I like to choose just a few filters that hit my most important features, knowing that I can come back and adjust if I need to. Let's click apply. And here are our results. Let's click into one of these and take a closer look. Again, in the instructions, you'll find all the steps for playing the activity and under learn are the reflect, connect, grow questions to lead a debrief afterwards. Once you've actually played the activity, you can click on this blue bar at the bottom where you can record the date and number of students who played the activity. If you have a premium account, a school account, or you're still in the preview period, you can also add a group name. So for example, third grade team time. You can also take personal notes to reflect on your process of facilitation or any notes for the future. And specific to school and organizational accounts, you can add notes that will be visible to other people in your organization. And then you'll click done. If you love this activity, be sure to click on the heart at the top. This will add the activity to your favorites and help you find it again in the future. I hope this helps you to get started finding activities. If you do have any questions, you can click on your initial at the top here to open up the feedback section and send us your questions. Thanks.